Back when I first started this YouTube channel, I talked a lot about a type of paint called milk paint. And this was used on the facades of Copenhagen. It's an interesting paint because while it's a natural paint, it actually ends up having some water resistance to it. Hi, my name is Catherine. I am an architect here in Denmark. God, that feels so good to say. And today I will be teaching all of you how to make milk paint from home, everyday ingredients. Now, of course, it wouldn't be a video about paint with me if it didn't include something extra. And in this case, not seaweed, but algae. We have this fabulous pigment today brought to you by Spira. It is their latest pigment made from red algae. And they told me that their red algae pigment works best in acrylic paints that are handmade that are oil-based or fat-based instead of water-based. Now the usual seaweed paint recipes that I make are water-based, so that's why today we're going to mix up a uh, very nice milk paint and we're going to see how this compares in a milk paint base to seaweed paint bases. These are some of the seaweed-based paints that I developed and displayed for building Green Copenhagen. All the colors come from different algae, and in this case lots of greens and blues. But today we're making milk paint. You want to start off with two separate jars, a coffee filter, vinegar, baking soda, and finally the most important ingredient of all, milk. First you're going to add one half cup of milk to a container. Then you're going to add a quarter cup of vinegar to the mix. You'll want to stir it really well so that it gets really incorporated. The vinegar is going to make the curd separate from the whey and uh, it has a very delicious looking effect. Next we're going to want to strain that through a coffee filter. Mmm, delicious. You know, actually though, it really doesn't smell as bad as it looks. Let that sit for about 20 minutes or so so that it all completely drains. And when it's completely separate, you'll have the whey on the bottom and the curd or casein protein up top. These solids are what we are going to use to make our paint. So these are the solids in a separate jar. We're going to reliquify them by adding a base to the acidic mixture. So two teaspoons of baking soda. And again, stir it really well. Now you'll start to see the chemical reaction forming. It's kind of like making your third grade science project. After you stir that all together, it's really important to let the mix sit so that it's no longer foamy. I let mine sit overnight and got back to it in the morning. This is what it looks like in the morning after sitting and now it's a complete liquid and ready to be used as the base of a paint. Yeah, it looks pretty nasty. It also doesn't smell so good. In general, you don't want to use this paint base more than 24 hours after you make it, so plan on using it fast otherwise it does spoil. Now I'm going to mix in the different algae pigments into my paint until I get a consistency that feels right and looks about right. Sometimes the paint isn't quite bright enough for me and in that case I just add a bit more pigment and make sure you also break it down into the paint by grinding it. Um, I use the back of a spoon just for sake of ease. Now you're ready to paint. I'm going to make a little Christmas card. I'm just applying some masking fluid here over my design so that I can separate the paints easier. Because unlike watercolor, the milk paint tends to not blend very well as expected. Here 
Here's a pro tip if you're using masking fluid. Patience is a virtue. Wait until the paper is absolutely bone dry before trying to peel it off of your hands. Otherwise, you're just gonna end up with a mess and tearing your paper, and it's always really sad when that happens. I hope all of you have had a wonderful year and are looking forward to 2023. And I can't wait to show and make more videos for all y'all. Happy holidays.